Welcome in the breeding farm. We check today the Goliatus um, beetles where they just have emerged out of their pupas or not. Um, as you probably remember, we found last time we found pupas um, and we put them into little peat uh, pots just to see whether we can manage to bring uh, these beetles through the very difficult pupation process um, in these peat uh, pots and now we, we check this one was 4th of fourth of April it was still a pupa and now today you see how the male has opened a hole in these little uh, peat pots we prepared them it, one side we just uh, cut it half so that it, it builds a practically perfect oval shaped artificial pupa chamber and now look the, feet, the male has emerged and now we will see whether, the, whether he managed to fold his wings no he didn't but I hope he's alive and he yeah I hope so but now you see the problem that we have when we do that is that often if you put the pupa in an artificial cell it will come out with on with uh, the, the wings not folded uh, the right way to put under their elytra so that's a problem that we have it would mean that we should try to leave the pupa in the chamber as long as we can and if we try uh, to make them an artificial pupal cell it can happen that sometimes they don't uh, they can't manage to fold their wings the right way but probably we will see how long it will live and, and for that I just uh, put the beetle back with a bit of a uh, beetle jelly so if he's hungry hungry and wants to eat something he can do that and I just put some of the wet peat on top of him so that probably he can manage uh, to live of course they will be inactive for some time now also in this uh, in this state now the second one that I want would like to check out is this one it was the same problem that we had that we found a pupa and it didn't um, and we had to build this artificial pupil cell you see here also there's a little hole now let's have a look what happened in here now this one just freshly emerged and the wings are still unfolded so we have to put it back in hope that the animal will find a way to fold the wings the right way in that particular stage so it has already opened a little hole so that means it came out of the pupal chamber that's the skin of the pupa and we hope that this animal can fold the wings the right way it's now three weeks since we put it into this artificial pupal chamber it also means that it's difficult to bring them through this process and of course if we can it would be much better to just try to wait until they come out themselves and now let's have a look at this one here uh, this is a perfect one um, it's not very active yet yeah let's have a look well, a little bit no it's not practically inactive we give them give him a little beetle jelly so he can eat if he wants to and of course he has to now has to wait now um, until he's completely active I give him a new very wet um, peat pot 
I put a little bit of beetle jelly in here and put him with the head down in here so if he wants of course he's strong enough yeah he tries to come out now he doesn't now he realized that we want to put him back uh, he does, so let's try if he, he can come out if he likes to but if he wants to stay inactive for some time now uh, in this artificial poo poo so he can do that and eat a little jelly if he needs some more um, to eat now this male is okay okay 21st of April so we, let's check another one we already checked this I don't know how we put it back oh that was the one with the with the wings huh yeah exactly we have to write it that's why you should always uh, keep your daughters up to date on folded wings yeah. so let's have another look here this should be a female that was inactive since the 16th of uh, of March that's already uh, around a month now she al also opened here a little hole and uh, now let's have a look how she's looking yeah, very nice lady she's already pretty active she can grab on to, to things you know that's a sign that, that she's active and want to yeah. and also she moves with her forearms around so this female we can um, try to mate her with a male it, it looks that she's pretty active now and probably in one or two weeks if we find an, a nice male for her we will try to put her into a bigger cage till then I put her back I tried to because she could put her back into this little cave where she can wait until she's completely active of course if the beetles are completely active they come to the surface and of course they want to escape also their little cages here but until they are completely active it's good to keep them safe in this box okay active more or less uh, plus minus active more or less active so so we have to check that in about uh, two weeks but what I want to show you now is that I not only have this little boxes here I also tried the different sizes of boxes for the pupation of the Goliathus and I will check one for it was in here as the last day of the last year it was a pupa I started uh, making a pupal cell it means it's now about uh, four more than four months uh, it should have finished a pupal a chamber here and probably if we are lucky we will find um, a pupil in here in a pupil cell but of course as you know it's very difficult um, to bring all the autos to this pupil phase now this seems this seems still uh, a pupa if you move the pupil chamber very carefully you feel that the, the pupa is, is uh, moving over and this movement you can feel and as long as you feel that just put it back Pro it's the best to put it the long way into the substrate again you just check whether it is still wet it should be not too moist but uh, it, it could have a good moisture that would be all right and of course put it back and we write here 21st fourth still pupa huh? okay next let's try another one it also means that you can wait around five to six months as soon as you see that a beetle a larvae starting to form a pupal chamber you can 
and notice that date and then from then on five months to six months you can wait as long as you keep the substrate slightly uh, moist so what's with this thing this could be two things could be a finished beetle or it could be a dead pupa that sticks to the wall so it, it i don't feel that something moves inside so let's have a look what it is Uh, I think it's already out of the pupil skin because that seems to be the pupil skin that has that fish that the that was shed by the so I don't see any elytras yet so where are they are oh, they are a bit in for okay must be a female if the pugidium looks out that long in the back mostly it is a female so uh, wings are folded that's very nice so it's already out of the pupil skin for some days so what happens to this lady yeah look she's active already a little bit and it's a female as you can see and uh, not too big a uh, small female okay so we have to prepare a little we have to prepare a little pit pot for her to put her in and then we wait for another let's say four weeks until we check again whether she's still uh, happy there and in case that she was kept too dry in here I put a little keep <coughs> <coughs> put a little beetle jelly in there so that she if she's hungry or needs some more some more humidity she can eat from that beetle jelly and then we wait and in around one month we will see what this lady is doing so where did where did we have it it was here it was in here exactly since the last day of the last year today's 21st of april so it's practically four months in here and it's after four months it's uh, it came out as a female so now put it back i can put also a little sand on it or a little water just to moisten it a little bit more as soon as the beetles come out of their pupil skins you can put a little bit more moisture and then of course we have to write that it's the 21st of april it's a female check 21st of may so that's it so thanks for watching um uh, we have a little online shop if you want to see what we can offer you just go there and click on the link thanks